For a couple of months every year, Mark Tennyson takes a trip through history. It's an incredible experience because it's hands on history. For the last four years, Tennyson has worked at George Washington's Mount Vernon Distillery, where the father of our country began making whiskey more than 200 years ago. If you tasted it, it would probably taste exactly like it did in George Washington's day. The distillery was built in the 1700s, but was in ruins for years after George Washington died. It wasn't until 2007 that it was refurbished to look and run like it did during Washington's time. And today, the job of creating spirits continues the old-fashioned way. This is a wood-fired still, and here at Mount Vernon, it's one of the last distilleries to use it to make whiskey. It's really interesting, and it's, it's one of those things where you, you come in here and you start making whiskey and, and you realize how this was done 200 years ago. Big name distillers from all over the country celebrated alongside other visitors who couldn't help but be impressed with the link to history. I think it's an outstanding, uh, you know, someone who uh, made a country what it took, what kind of guy could make a country. Obviously didn't just sit around and watch Netflix all day. And after all the toasts, visitors had a chance to sample whiskey from all around the country. And for Tim Lerner, who lives the rest of the year in Indiana, he says behind every small sip, there's a lot of hard work. Well, we come in here and we work for a month. And let me just say, after a month, I'm ready to go back home. In Alexandria, Carly Kempler, CNS-TV.